Bug. So we're back with our Black Love Part de, And this is our HERS soap. And this one we did a um, no pot swirl as well. Um, we also didn't spoon around any colors. We just poured them in randomly and then poured those colors into the bucket. And we added some iridescent glitter at the top. So this is the first cut our end piece and that's what that looks like on the inside I just figured since the soaps um, would be the same colors that I would try to do them in a different fashion being that I was doing his and hers and I had already used the um, tall and skinny mold first bar oh that's lovely on the inside and this is the other side. I have to fill in that hole, but this is beautiful. And that was a nice clean cut. And remember, this is the one that I actually had to add um, water to. So I could do these swirls. It would be stay fluid enough for me to do this. And this is the top. still have one more recipe that I made up the other night um, to try out on a few soaps. Um, same oils, like I said before, just a different combination of them. I just want to see what, what will give me um, the best working time and also um, the best results for what I'm looking for. And this one had a small amount of cracking. Um, I didn't put this one in the fridge. But you can't really tell because of the darkness of the soap. So that's why I didn't even bother showing you guys. I think I like this one better than the men's. <laughs> Only because I'm a girl and I love swirls. Oh my gosh. And because these don't have a pipe topping, um, they're shorter bars. But they're still basically, whoops still basically the same size and if you just like how that happened if you're new to soap making and something like that happens to you or your soap doesn't come all the way out of the mold just take a soft piece of soap and fill in the layer and there you go I'll have to fill in this piece but that's basically all to it and that's because it's still soft a little bit but it's hard enough for me to handle due to the extra water so I'll just take this little bit and fill in any spaces that I need to and the beauty about it is that it will dry <coughs> this way and there won't be any aesthetic problems but well, I've never come across any anyway. And I'll show you what I mean once I fill this back in. If you smooth it out right, especially while the soap is still damp, and you put enough pressure to it that it adheres to the rest of the soap, then it looks like nothing ever happened. And this is our last bar. I 
I learned this little technique from Kimberly McNutt from Essential Soaps. She was actually um, the very first soaper that I started watching. Hence the fact of me um, starting out with hot process soap. I still didn't use anybody's recipes because that's just me. I always wanted to do everything on my own. Um, if someone you know, shares a recipe with me, then that's something different. But as far as formulations go, I've always only ever used my own, especially for um, reselling. Now, things are a little bit different. Um, if I find a recipe that I want to try, then I will. And then I'll just tweak it to the way that I want it to be for myself. Find the right formula for me and my products. So, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Well, this morning, rather. And until next time, as always, be well and stay blessed. And thank you for watching. And bye for now. There you have it, folks. Another fine creation from Body Garbage. If you're new to this channel, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. If you'd like to purchase any of our products, our website links are down below, as well as all of our social sites where you can follow us and see more. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, be well and stay blessed, and bye for now.